Aquarius. Welcome to Readings by Roxby. So I'm going to do a bi-weekly for you guys. It's going to go from October 22nd to November 4th, 2018. I hope you're all doing well. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So Aquarius, just keep in mind if the reading doesn't resonate for you, please watch your other signs. I am using the Everyday Witch Tarot for you guys. I do apologize for being late. If you follow me on Facebook or saw October 24th's daily morning messages, you understand why. Those of you that have reached out with your love, support, I truly, I really, I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing to take the time to write such beautiful words. It's truly very, very touching. With that being said, I'm, I'm here to do your reading. I feel pretty good. So we're going to do it. Aquarius, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. October 22nd, November 4th, 2018. Aquarius. Our cards feel absolutely perfect. So because I'm doing um, two weeks for you guys, I'm going to do 10 cards. And those of you, Aquarius, that would like to you know, connect with me on Facebook, I do interact a lot there. Get a private reading, Instagram for additional daily messages, instant go if you'd like a quick question answered. Links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. So this card I'm using is the overall energy for the next two weeks. And this is how you're coming into the reading. You're passionate for something. You're not backing down. You're not quitting. You're fighting for your rights or a situation. Definitely. You are not giving up on something. With the Six of Wands, or, I'm sorry, the Six of Swords, let me show you this because I know it looks like the Seven of Swords, but it really is the Six. Okay. So, you're running forward. You're transitioning from shitty times to you know, much more better times, peace of mind. And you know, this was probably one hell of a fight. To get to where you are. To get to be able to run forward toward what makes you happy. But some of you, you know, these two are just, they're running, they're going for it. Some of you are looking back to the past. Should I do this? Shouldn't I? Yes. Keep running. Because with the Ace of Wands and the Two of Wands, you absolutely have a new beginning here. That is very exciting. An exciting new job, a new home, a new adventure, a new relationship, a new business. Whatever it is that you're fighting for, that you're definitely passionate about. With the Two of Wands, I feel like you, you are very focused on this. This is literally planning mode with both of these cards. And you're just about ready to start out on a, start down a new path. You're just figuring things out. You're getting excited. And you literally have a world of possibilities here. Right in the palm of your hand. Amazing energy for those of you that are really starting something new. I do feel like 
It is the, the early stages of this. You know, I feel like with the Seven of Wands, you've really had to fight for this. Or really just... Take on a lot of people, a lot of issues, a lot of difficulties. That's a lot of wands, like trying to beat at you, Aquarius. And the Empress is under this. Some of you definitely are trying to create. I guess I should show you that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Emperor. But still, you're trying to create start a, a new business that you're passionate about even more so with the emperor like you are not wavering i do feel for many of you this is job related it could be a business that you're starting definitely it's something that you've thought long and hard about honestly with the hermit i do feel like You've really thought about this. You know, like... I do feel, you know, for, for a lot of you that this is... Really something that you were spiritually guided to do. Really. You know spiritually guided towards the hermit is a very spiritual spiritual energy and, and and definitely you look like you're spending time alone here to me you definitely could have you know spent some alone time to figure thing figure all of this out to plan some of you might have to travel for this new beginning with the Ace of Wands, and I'll be honest, I noticed under the Emperor, the Ace of Cups is here as well. Some of you definitely might have to move, travel to a new home. The Sun is here. You definitely would, you know, would be moving to a much warmer climate with the sun card. You know, this is also, you know, moving towards happiness. The sun and the five of pentacles. Some of you definitely could be experiencing some financial hardships. You know, that overworked, underpaid. But I feel like... Yeah, I just feel like you're getting away from that, too. You know, like... You're literally following the light. Literally. Using your own light to follow the light. You know, with the Ace of Wands, especially if this is a new business or a new job, this is the beginning is going to help with, you know, by you taking a, a break. Like the sun, too, is also a healing energy. So if you have felt, you know... Left out in the cold, sad, down, depressed. You're moving right toward happiness. Especially if you have fire and earth in your chart, definitely. You know, you're moving toward complete happiness, abundance, success. You know, this new beginning that you're starting is, is really... 
leading to happiness. I'm very much spiritually guided to do. Even if this has been ongoing, keep going with it. Don't, definitely don't back down. And you're an Aquarius. You're not going to do that anyway. You know, but with this energy, I just, you're definitely not. Keep moving forward because you really are on, a, on an amazing path here. It's like with the Page of Wands. You know, a new adventure. But I do feel here that it's Exciting communication that you've been waiting on in regards to this. You know, with the hermit, definitely seeking enlightenment, clarity, looking for answers as far as timelines when this is all going to happen. You're absolutely gaining enlightenment and answers over the next two weeks. Things are definitely being highlighted and you're getting what you need you know with the death card it represents again endings and new beginnings especially those of you that are changing jobs you know moving to a new home um Like that's the ending of one thing of your life and it and opening that space for you know a new beginning to to come in which is here as well it's like like really big changes coming in and you also have the queen of Pentacles. You know, with the death card here, so you know, Scorpio season, you get, you guys are getting this reading. Um, for me, it's the 23rd. So we're just starting Scorpio season. You know, so this could be a time frame for some of you where things are really going to take off. You know, I, you know, the Queen of Pentacles, again, I, I do feel like this is job related for a lot of you. Some of you, sure, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be someone that you've been, you know, wanting to hear from. It could definitely be a Virgo. Definitely, maybe a Scorpio. A Leo. But I really feel like you're waiting for this person. To start a new beginning. You know, with death, you know, with every ending comes a new beginning. You're, you're definitely, you're waiting to start this new beginning. And, and it really is exciting. A very exciting one, and you're you. Many of you are so very passionate about it. You know, really, all I want to look at is the Five of Pentacles. I'm sorry, I needed that. I mean. The Ace of Wands, this is beautiful. It's like a bright new, a bright future with endless possibilities. Really. With the world you know, in, your, in the palm of your hands. The Death Card. What a reading. Okay, the, what the heck is this? Two of Pentacles flipped up. Um, so definitely juggling. Yeah. <laughs> juggling your finances. Yeah. 
well, I, th I don't even think it's that. I really didn't. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay, maybe you were juggling your finances. But you, you don't actually, you're not really lacking here. Okay, so it's definitely feeling left out of a situation because you're saving your money and I really do think that this is trying to make a decision make a decision that's very emotional or waiting on one to start at this new beginning if it's on the job front you're just saving your money you know, maybe feeling left out at your job. Getting looked over for a promotion. But things are changing. Without a shadow of a doubt. Just keep fighting for it. Keep fighting for it and you will win. No doubt about it. Right, I'm going to get you guys a Halloween Oracle. I love these cards. They really are amazing. Wow, that flipped right up. Wow, and you know, <laughs> the first thing I notice... And I said this before. Look at both of these cards together. That looks like a bright future to me, right? And at the bottom of Don, it says, the light after the darkness. It's a bright future. You're literally on the path to success and happiness. If you were just worrying a lot with the Five of Pentacles, you know, thinking kind of, because here you kind of look like you're, you know, outside your home. You know, just taking a stroll with your, your child, your pet, trying to find some place to sit and think about things like you're doing here. I just feel like You know, even, you know, just, even just feeling lonely. You know, I do see this sometimes as someone that just feels sad, lonely, depressed. You know, on the outside, looking in. You know, if that's been you, don't give up. This is just an amazing, and I mean, I couldn't have pulled a more clarifying card, really. You know, things don't just happen. This is not a coincidence, these two cards together. It, it's just not. I know my camera's going to suck right now. But you know what I mean. It's just beautiful. A beautiful combination. There we go. Happiness, contentment, whatever it is. I do feel like it's on the work front. Starting a new business. Go for it. Go for it. It will absolutely work. No need to second guess yourself. Love you guys, Aquarius. Love your reading. Have a beautiful two weeks, but I will see you back here soon. Take care.